disaster response network enabled platform. We call it for short Dr. NEP, a platform for simulation of uh, multiple systems like the power network, the electrical network, uh, telecommunications network. All these systems uh, depend very strongly on each other in normal life, but is more evident during large disasters. An earthquake has happened. There is not enough energy for both the hospital and the water pumping station. How do you split it? You give 100% to the hospital, zero to the water pumping station, then the hospital will not be able to operate because of lack, not of electricity, but lack of water. So there is a best ratio, a best combination of resources allocated to your operational units. So the DRNet platform uh, provides very sophisticated uh, simulation tools that can bring together all these critical systems. So at the beginning, we have a web interface and we can log into this web interface to gain access to the tool. At this point, we can define our particular simulation and select the model and a particular scenario, as well as the runtime and the resolution time of the simulation. So each infrastructure has a different color showing its physical status. And the graph that we see is showing the hospital output of treated patients. So as the disaster progresses and decisions are made, the infrastructure blocks change color. So now the hospital has received patients and has started treating them. And we can see how the output of the curve changes as the disaster progresses. Now, who are the users? The users could be, for instance, uh, a community in, in the northern part of Chile that is, a, is an area that's subject to, to earthquakes often. And suppose this community wants to know how to better prepare for when the disaster happens and how to better respond to the disaster. So step one in the process is for this community to work together with our experts in, in the DRNEP uh, network and build a model of the community. Once this model of the community is showing where the hospitals are located, the electrical substations are located, and all the other critical components, the model has been built. Now it exists in the simulation platform. And they can train the people by running a multitude of scenarios or can use the platform capabilities in real time when they're actually dealing with uh, with a real world uh, event. The disaster responder also has the option of using Google Earth to visualize the information in the database to help them make a decision. So here we focus in on uh, the Japan Sendai region where the model is located. Here we see the different infrastructures and uh, their physical status. So we're going to change the status of one particular region Currently it's red, showing 100% damaged. Now we're going to change it to green, being completely operational. And this information is sent to the database and then updated on the map. So that way the user, or the disaster responder, can see exactly what's happening using a map interface. This platform will ultimately save lives by allowing the responders to make better decisions.